So it's my great pleasure to bring to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, a man whose movies keep getting better, every one he makes, Mr. Shion Sono. Thank you. And a hand for our translator, Chisato Uno. You can sit on that. You should have to stand up. Any comments to the audience who just sat here for four hours? Thank you for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, we are. Sonasan was. We were actually watching in the back for the first hour or more. Um, did you notice the credit? The, the, the title comes at the hour mark, roughly. Uh, you kind of forget that there's a title to the movie until that moment. Uh, and he was really happy to hear the, act, the, re the, the reaction of the American audience. I think this is the first American audience he's seen it with. He saw it with an audience in Berlin at the Berlin Film Festival who are also very vocal. But audiences in Japan are traditionally very quiet. And they were saying if one person laughs, everybody will laugh or claps. Everybody will clap. But in general, it's very quiet. So how did you feel about the reaction of the people to the first hour of the film? Oh, the audience reaction was wonderful, and uh, I think people should should participate in this film like as if they're watching a pro wrestling. So, I <laughs> <laughs> almost is. I have to ask my first question. We we talked about this today at Kino Kuniya, where we did a little event. That opening card, based on true events. Uh, how much of this movie is true? And why is that card there? え、全部嘘だとも言えるし、え、全部本当だとも言える映画だと思うんで、はい。そういう、あの、あの、日によってちょっとパーセンテージ変わります。uh, you could say that the, the whole film is fiction, and you could also say the whole film is truth. Depends on the day, the percentage of truth to fiction that sort of varies day by day. Also, I understand the first cut of the film was six hours long, and then it was cut down to two hours, I think, and then that was too short, so four hours was the good uh, middle ground. What was in the six hour version that we didn't get to see, and is there going to be a director's cut on DVD in Japan? For example, there's, uh, there's a bed scene with um, the character Koike, played by Sakura Ando, with her father. And, uh, uh, and there's, a, there's a pretty extreme sex scene that's uh, by the beach after they have a car crash. Anything else? <laughs> It's really too many. <laughs> yes. uh, I was surprised when I saw the film that, you know, everyone's calling it sort of this pervert hentai epic. And the movie is, when you think about it, surprisingly chaste. There really isn't any nudity in it. There really isn't any depictions of sex on screen. Everything is kind of distanced or fetishized in the movie. I mean, the mood of the film is about sex, but... I, I felt it was kind of like a John Waters movie where it's about sex, but it's not dirty. You know, it's kind of accepting people who are different, who like sex, who like... It. And, you know, it's, it's got this almost innocent quality to it. Is that something that you would agree with? Yeah. Ultimately, lots of things happen, but it, all they do is hold hands, so it does end pretty platonically. Uh, can you talk really briefly before we take questions from the audience also about your next project? You're about to embark on this first... I know you, you shot the movie Hazard in New York City with some English actors, English-speaking actors, but uh, this is your first English language, all, all English language production coming up. The film is called Lords of Chaos, and we're going to start uh, shooting in September. 
まだあうんと役者は一人しか決まってなくてさっき言ったようにあのトゥワイライトのあジャクソン・ラスボン。Yeah. We only have actually one, one, person, one actor confirmed and that's、uh, Jackson Rathbone for, from、uh, Twilight. 実際に1990年に起きたノルウェーで起きた実際に起きた事件をもとに映画にしました。It's based on true events that happened in 1990 in Norway. メイヘムというブラックメタルのバンドの、えー、みんな悪魔,悪魔の、えー、主悪魔主教に入ってそうですね、えー、ノルウェー中の教会を燃やしたり自殺したり殺し合ったりした。人たちなんですけど、ワイルド。それでは、皆さんに質問をお願いします。